So today I'm going to fix the worst team in La Liga. It's a whole rebuild. And it's crazy because the worst team in La Liga right now is Valencia. And growing up, for me, watching Valencia was a team that competed with Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and Barcelona. Consistently, every season, they were in that top four spot really doing their thing. They were a team where so many greats played for. And now they're in last place in La Liga in real life. And today we got to take a step back and fix this amazing, beautiful, beautiful Spanish club. Today we got to bring superstars to this club and get them back into the top five where they belong. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Valencia rebuild. Welcome to us fixing the worst team in La Liga, which is Valencia. And that just doesn't even sit right with me. Now, as we look at their starting 11, you can see instantly there's a lot of things that just don't look right. When you think about players that played for Valencia, you think about a lot of superstar players. One that comes to my mind right away is Pablito Aymar, who played for Basica. I'm pretty sure Pablito Aymar played for Valencia. I'm pretty, I'm almost 100% sure of that. Um, and with that being said, we look at this starting 11, we see good players like Gaia, and we see a really good right back, young Portuguese kid that's playing really good. But there's a lot missing. We also see a very, very good goalkeeper. But there's a lot missing. And today, we are going to do our absolute best to making this team and getting them back to where they belong. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit up Portugal because Portugal has a lot of young talent, a lot of a, a lot of amazing players that aren't expensive. And me being Portuguese, I know some really good players that can help this Valencia side. So let's take a ride to Portugal. So the first thing I'm going to do is head to Lisbon and not go to my favorite club, Benfica, but go to Sporting Lisbon. Now, Sporting Lisbon have a young center back that goes by the name of Corazma. Now, Corazma is a very, very good young talent. Um, very, very young player. 22 years young. 76 overall already. And, and Valencia can really use some new center back. Some fresh, so, so something fresh in the back. So his market value is 17. I mean, 15. That's what his market value is. I'm going to offer 17 million. And I'm also going to give them a buy, a, a, a sell on clause of 25% and see what Ruben Amorin thinks. Instantly, he says yes, which makes me think I may have overpaid here for Quaresma, unfortunately. But it's a big move. It's a really, really big move for Valencia. I'm happy. Before I make that move happen, since I'm in Lisbon, I'm going to go to the Benfica Stadium and meet with Rui Costa, the president of, of Benfica, and talk about Arujo. Arujo is a young center back as well that I just want to see where their head is. Uh, Tomas is very, very good, very young top player, very, very talented player. But I want to see if I could get him for like 16 and a sell-on clause. Now, that's below his market value, so they might walk away here. But I'm going to give it a try. They want 18 plus 15. Um, plus 15 sell-on clause. So I'm going to accept this. Doesn't mean we're actually going to do it. I just uh, I just want to give us an option between, well, who would you take? Corazma at 17 or Arujo at 18. Listen, do we take both of them? There's, there could be a scenario where we take both of them. We shouldn't waste money on two center backs, though. We should pick between one. They're both 76 overall. I believe Corazma might be a little bit younger. Um, do, who do I think is better in real life? Very hard to say. Tomas has show, showed a lot of upside. Corazma has played a lot, but not a crazy amount. Neither has Tomas. Very tough. One's a little bit cheaper. I think I got to make a decision of which one I want. I'm going to accept this at 18. I got to make a decision. It's a tough one. I had a vision where we would go after Guler and Fati. Now, I knew we didn't really have the money to make these deals happen, but I was really hoping that maybe we could approach a loan. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like either of these clubs want to do that. Um, really sad, man. I would really take Fati on a loan. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Time to make a decision between both 22-year-olds. Very tough, man. It's very, very tough. Uh, Quaresma has a higher uh, release clause. Um, and he's a little bit cheaper for us, man. So I think I'm going to go with Quaresma. Personally, I'm a fiquista, so I want Tomas. Uh, but um, I think I'm going to go with Quaresma, okay? I think we're going to do Quaresma because he's cheaper. Let's go with Quaresma. I probably maybe could have even got him cheaper, man. We're going to go Quaresma. If we want another center back, we obviously go Tomas. But I'm going to make this deal happen uh, uh, right now, man. We're going to get this deal done and dusted. He's going to be a starter for Valencia. And the center back position hopefully will be cleaned up big time because 
that's a position that no 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 we don't we don't got time for release clauses man we don't have time for release clauses okay um i accept this i have 46 million left over from uh, uh, Koresma, welcome to Valencia, our brand new starting left center back. For sure, he's going to be our starting left center back. Koresma, man, I need a lot from you, lad, because we got to get back into the top five, okay? And this team really needs a lot of help. It's crazy because they have so many players. Look at this. They have so many players, man. They have a lot of players, just none of them are really high overall players, which is crazy. Koresma, 76 overall, now lining up right there beside a 77. Our, ba our back line looking a lot better. Definitely think we need help at the striker position, man. That's a position we really, really got to get some help. So let's see if we can find some help. Taking a trip to England. Now, this was a guy that was at loan at Befica last season, didn't get a lot of playing time. But this is a player that played for Valencia before. I'm almost 100% sure of that. Gonzalo Guedes, okay? You guys might know him just like I know him. Um, I'm going to try to get him on a loan here so we don't have to give a lot. I would love a two-year loan if they accept that. Um, it looks like the team, let's split the wages 50-50. Do y'all accept that? 50-50? Done. Gonzalo Guedes is back at Valencia. Again, I'm pretty sure he played at Valencia. Um, and he is, a, he is officially coming back home, man. So the ex Befica man has kind of had his ups and downs at Wolves. Let's be honest with each other. Um, he is now officially going to be coming back to Spain to be the striker for this club. And that's a loan deal, man. So I didn't have to spend money and I get him for two years. So he should be arriving very, very soon. And we could throw him into the starting 11. I think that was a big boy move right there. I love that move. So this player right here is not the youngest, but he's someone that's very familiar with La Liga. Um, it's Inaki Williams. Um, so it's, it's, it's Nico's brother, Nico Williams' brother. He's 30 years old, he's 82 overall. Um, they say the deal can happen somewhere around 31. Um, I want to offer, uh, 30 million and then maybe throw like one of our players in there, right? Somebody, somebody, but again, we don't really have much to really throw at this team. Our current right mid is a 73 overall, yo, we need help at the right mid position. Um, you know what, man, I might offer 30, 33 and hopefully they don't get actually I'm, I'm gonna offer don't get mad at me okay guys look i'm gonna give a big sell on clause because we're not gonna sell them please man don't get mad at me man don't get mad at me okay it gets done at 31 maybe i could have went cheaper here i'm not 100 percent sure i got a list of players by the way i want y'all to look at this fati guler look at it mudrik neto i had a list trying to get players on loan oh my goodness it just said i could loan who was that Oh my goodness, Mateos Nunes. I tried and Pep Guardiola said no, one year. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we take it. Yes, yes, 100%. Yes, done, 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 done. Come on, Mateos. Big signing for us. Mateos went through. It's a loan deal for one year, but it's a midfielder, a big midfielder as well. Very lovely, man. Um, We're still in the market though. Y'all y'all want to let Guler go or no? Y'all want to... No, they still don't want to let Guler go. Uh, left mid... Mo no. Neto, I don't need a right mid. Unless we take him... Hold on. So you're telling me there's a chance to sign him at 34, 38 million. Would we rather have Neto or would we rather have Inaki Williams? I think Inaki Williams, even though he's older. Um. Imagine they let Aki go on loan. No way, right? Nah, they don't let Aki go on loan. Um, okay. I'm very... Look, I would love Mudrik. Of course, they're going to say no. I kind of need a left mid. Very happy with Mateos coming in. Let's get this deal done right here, man. Let's get this deal done. I'm very happy with this deal for Inaki Williams. 31 million is a little... A, 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 kind of kind of steep. Kind of steep for money. I ain't going to lie for lie to y'all. It, 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 but it's a position that we really need. Our right mid is not cooking. Um, can we get him on a four-year deal? I know he's 30. Looks like a four-year deal is enough. He wants a release clause of 80. We want to deny the release clause if that's okay, lads. We really want to. And yes, you can have that. Done. Inaki Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, it took a bit of our money. I'm not going to lie to you. It took a bit of our money 
facts it did take a little bit of our money but at the end of the day guys what's important here is not so much taking our money it's being able to build a solid team and i think inaki williams even at that price tag is someone that understands la liga really really helps the right mid position they're going to give me an a personally i think it's an a plus i'm going to be honest with you but hey of course i'm going to be biased i'm the one who made the signing but our team now let's go ahead and uh zoom forward a couple days because then uh if we zoom forward a couple days we'll be able to get um um in, uh, Inaki Williams here and also Mateos Nunes off the loan should now arrive at the club so he's ready for training um, with that being said let's see what the team looks like we have Geds up top um, Lopez on the left I would I would love a left mid now we have Inaki Williams which is coming uh, current, cu gonna come up clutch he, I mean not, yeah, yeah Inaki Williams not Nico I don't want to say Nico Inaki Williams if I ever say Nico I apologize and Mateos Nunes is not here yet but he is on his way so when he arrives, he will go into this position and we will now have a very solid two center mids. Our left mid wing, our left mid is not good. And I would like another striker. I'm going to be honest with you. Age 24, though, that's very it's, it's 77 overall. We could work with that. I wouldn't mind another striker, but I definitely, definitely would like a left mid. Now, I know Lopez is a solid player, but he has a lot of developing to do. I would like a very, very good left mid, like a veteran left mid, to be honest with you but I really like what we've done with the team so far. Bang, look at that midfield now. That is beautiful, man. A very, very nice, beautiful midfield. Left mid position, let's work on it. I'm offering a goalkeeper and 17 million for Mudrik. This could get really bad really quickly. 31 million, I don't have it, bro. And listen, if I did, if I had it, I'd give it in a heartbeat. If I had it, bro, I'd give it in a heartbeat. You have no idea. What about 17 million? And I'll give you a young winger. Uh, I don't... Mm, two right mids. Um, What's up? Come on, man. Come on, man. Please. Please, please. Oh, wow. They said yes to that. They said yes to a young winger. And set, now listen. In real life, when I do this, I never like giving rid of, getting rid of young players in real life because they have the potential. But Muldrick is still pretty young as well. And we have an opportunity now to sign Muldrick. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Now that I think about it, will I have enough to sign him? I only have 59. Um, hopefully, I have enough to sign him, bro. Please tell me I have enough to sign. I might not have enough to sign him. His wages are very high, bro. Release clause, we want to say no to that. How much money do you guys want? Oh, no. You're putting me in the bankrupt, bro. Um, let's edit the wages. Oh, no way we choke on the money. Ain't no way we choking on the money, right? Go back. Remove bonuses. Edit the wages. Let's just get your wages high, lad. Let's bring all this down. And let's get your wages up. Oh, that's not enough wages, man. That's just not enough wages. It's just not enough. Oh, no, lad. It's not enough. Oh, man. It's not quite. Wait. He said yes. He took the money. Oh, my gosh. He took the money. He actually... Muldrick took the money. Muldrick took the money. Now, y'all might think this is a bad signing because he hasn't panned out at Chelsea. But this is going to be a great move for us, bro. This is a fantastic move for us. Again, we lost a young player that's probably going to end up being a stud for Valencia one day. But we need to get them out of relegation zone now, bro. We need them out of there now, 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 now. Not yesterday, today, right now. With that being said, I would love to get him on loan. I would love to get another player on loan. But guys, I'm very happy with this team now. I think we've I think we've done business. I think we still I think we stood on business to be honest with you. I think we stood on business, man. Uh, we really, really, really went and did some work here. Check this out, man. We got Modric on the left, Inaki Williams on the on the right. Geds at striker on loan, Mateos Nunes on loan in the middle. Corazma belongs to us, so Modric and Corazma belong, belong to us. Uh, 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 Inaki Williams belongs to us. Geds and Mateos Nunes were on loan. I would like to bring in another player on loan, but guys, I got to be real with you. I'm very, very happy with this team massively. The way I want to play football is very simple. We want to play a high line, if that's okay. We want to play um, 
We want to play him, I, I guess, I guess more of a winger role for Modric. Um, we also want to keep, uh, do they not get pluses in career mode? How does that work? Do they not get pluses? I get maybe advanced forward, false nine. How do you get? Okay, he gets pluses as a, I guess it comes up up there. So that's the poacher, playmaker, or does he get pluses anywhere else? He doesn't look like he gets half winger. That's weird. Don't be weird. Um, be a box to box. This our holding player. You know, he's a box to box as well. We can have you as a wing back, have you as a wing back, and that's the way we're going to line up, lads. That's the football I want to play. Very, very, very nice football right there, bro. Very nice football right there. We're going to play beautiful, clean football and see how it pans out. Guys, we are now going to take this until January, which is going to be very difficult. And we are going to see where Valencia stays by January, where they are in the league, okay? So by January 1st, we'll see exactly where they are. <laughs> Wish me luck. We sold a couple players and... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to Portugal and do some business with Benfica and see if I can get Arturo that played in um, played in Italy, scored a lot of goals for Florentina, hasn't scored a lot of goals for Benfica, but I sold a few like players that we wouldn't really use, and I'm going to see if Benfica will bite at like 14 million. They want 8 million plus the center back, but that's, that's a really, really young, good center back right there. They want a center back. What about if I give you this center back and 11 million, 11 million plus that center back? What are you guys saying? Okay. They say, yes, we get Arturo for 11 million and a center back that we would never use. Uh, personally, do I think Arturo's a fantastic striker? No, I don't. Um, but I think he can do good in La Liga for 11 million. It's worth a, 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 it's worth it. Um, he's a 77 overall. Um, this season already started, and I got to tell you guys, I don't think this season's off to some phenomenal start. Um, one win, one draw, two losses. So it is in a phenomenal start for Valencia. Uh, definitely think that we need more goals. Uh, we get a B for bringing, out, bringing in Arturo, the Brazilian man, and we we bring him in again. Befica, he doesn't really play much, but he is a goal. He can score goals. He scored a lot of goals, a lot of goals in Florentina. Now, the question is here is, and here's the big question. First of all, I don't know why the game is playing this center back over Quaresma, because that's what's happening right now. Our goalkeeper took an injury, which really sucks. But one thing I want you guys to pay attention to is they're playing this, this center back over Quaresma. We bought Quaresma for a reason, but they want to start him, which is really, really weird. And I hope that doesn't happen with Arturo because they might not let Arturo play, which uh, we need Arturo. We need one, uh, one, one big boy striker, you know? So hopefully they allow him to play because like I said, the season has not started great. You can see right here, the season has started like this. Uh, not great. Lost to Barca, lost to Celta Vigo. We bounce, bounce, bounce back against Atletico Bilbao. We get an okay result against Villarreal. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to win that Celta Vigo game, man. You got to get points there. The one thing I do wish Carrera would do is let your player that you want to start actually start. Where's Arturo? Is he not here? Why don't I see him? Oh my goodness, I just realized the market's closed. So we won't get... Uh, oh, I just realized the market's closed. We won't get Arturo till January. Oh, man. Oh, I messed that up, yo. Oh, man, I thought the market was still open. I didn't realize we were in September. Oh, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Bad business. Right, so we are officially in January 1st. December, how did it go? Wow, they won three games in December, all three. In November, they won two, lost, wow. Tied, wow, only lost one and tied to Madrid. In October, they won all their games. In September, they won all of them except for the Atletico. Oh, what a bounce back season, bro. Oh, thanks. You love to see. Oh, man, that's awesome, bro. Copa de España is up next for uh, Valencia, but they are officially in third place. Let's go, Valencia. Let's go, baby. Come on. Lone FC, don't care. Lone FC, don't care. Don't care. Yo, I said I want to get top five. Top five. Top five. I'm not worried about winning the league. Nothing like that. I want top five, bro. Top five. Top five. Top five. Top. Look at the boys. Come on, lads. Come on. They are cooking, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Yo, you love to see it. You actually love to see it, man. That makes me so happy. Before we go any further, we got to see who's doing what for the club because this is important, man. I'm bringing in Arturo. Hopefully, I didn't mess up bringing in Arturo. Hopefully, he doesn't mess the chemistry up. Uh, uh, Gaya gets the most playing time. Then uh, my boy uh, uh, Williams, we knew that would happen. 
Um, Modric getting 17 games, two goals, one assist. We need more from you, lad. We need more. We paid a lot for you, man. Okay, the other striker that I was going to replace with Arturo, which now is not really looking like it's going to happen. You feel me? Six games, five goals, five assists. I wish I could cancel it. Um, and Koresma got 10 games. Mateos has 10 games. Geds only has 10 games. So who's the striker getting more PT than Geds? Oh, they're playing Rafa over a 77 rated Geds. I just don't understand this game. I just don't understand this game, guys. I really don't. This is a loan. I wish I could terminate the loan and send it back. So that way, Geds would actually play because I think Geds would actually perform. Well, he does zero goals, though. Maybe not. Maybe not, guys. Maybe he wouldn't perform. Maybe he wouldn't perform more. Now we have Arturo here, which very much changes a lot because none of the strikers are really scoring a lot, as you guys can see. Arturo's officially here as a 78 overall. Very, very nice. And he's going to be taking one of these spots. And I'm thinking this spot right here. Let's go, Arturo. Let's go, Arturo. And that's how that stands. So we're in a great place. We'll check out the market real quick. I put a lot of players up on the, on the you know, for sale and stuff like that to see um, if, if anybody would bite. We have no offers, though, so that's that. We're going to start simming, simming through this to see if any offers come in. Let's go. The month of January is pretty much wrapped up, and I got great news. In the Copa de España, they beat Sevilla, and, and, they, and they beat Sevilla in the league and beat Real Sociedad, but lost to Barcelona, and I'm okay with this. The fact that Valencia is actually competing this much in La Liga has me very surprised because, guys, I did not expect to be in the top three uh, with January ending. It's not what I expected for this club. I thought this would be a two, three-year project, but so far, it's been a very, very quick, nice, and easy project, which is really nice. We have a couple offers that kind of didn't really bite on. We obviously don't want to let this striker go. He's the one scoring the most goals. And we have an offer for, for, for Gea, but I'm never going to let that happen. And that's kind of where we stand at the moment, man. So no real moves are going to be happening within this window because I feel like the club is just in a good spot and I don't really want to mess around with it too much. Arturo's officially here. So we kind of want to see what he did during the month of January. Did he actually play or did he like not get much PT? We'll find out right now. But Arturo is officially here and Arturo picked up. It's not going to be many games because it's only four games. Uh, did he play all four games or no? Arturo, where you at? Arturo did not play, maybe played one game. He only played one game and got a goal. So in four, he only played one. So they are opting to not use Arturo. They they have the strikers they like, and it seems to be, I think Geds, it's funny, now that I benched Geds, he's the one playing. Isn't that interesting? Whenever I put a player on the reserves or on the subs, they're the ones who start. Listen, it's EA's logic, man. I have no idea, man, but it's what EA does. Now it's time. It's time to find out if I will see you at the end of the season happy or sad that they stayed in the top five. I will see you on May 31st to find out how La Liga finished up. Hopefully, we did our job. Season one has concluded. That means two things are going to happen. If we're not in top five, we're going to continue. If we're in top five, we did our job. It ends with the win against Real Betis, and they won four, five, wait, four out of the five games they had in May. In April, not so much a good month. Lose the cup, Copa de España to Real Madrid. That's normal. They then get destroyed by Real Madrid in La Liga. They tied to Sevilla, but they bounce back with a win and then another tie. In March, they won every game. And in February, they won every game except for Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and Villarreal, and Celta Vigo. So a bad February as well. Leaving them in top three. Vamos Valencia! We're back, baby! We're back, baby! Oh, man, that's awesome. Wow, I didn't expect a top three finish. Over Atletico Madrid is crazy. Over Atletico Madrid is crazy. And five points behind Barca and Real Madrid. Real Madrid win the league. Congratula congratulations to, to Real Madrid. So Copa de España does go to Real Madrid, meaning we went out in the semifinals. Very nicely done by Valencia. A, a, a fantastic season for them when it comes to that. And the reason we performed so well was... Well, to be honest with you, not so much just our lone players, because as you guys know, uh, did they start sending our players back already? I think they started sending the lone players back already. They did. They already started sending the lone players back. Uh, so Mateos Nunes already got sent back. Now, Mateos Nunes and Geds were on loan, but Geds is a two-year loan, so he's still staying here. Mateos was the only one that was a one-year loan, so he won't be a part of the team for the next season. But... Uh, 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 Inaki uh, Williams will be here Modric will be here 
Um, Geds will be here, Arturo will be here, and Koresma will be here. So only Mateos, Noons, it will not will not be here. Uh, so that would be if I stayed with them for another season, I would obviously target him and try to get him to stay with the club, right? Because he was a big, big part of the club. Uh, 43 games for Gea. Uh, Inaki Williams, massive signing here, lads. Very, very big signing with 19 goals and six assists as well. Huge, 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 huge. Modric only four goals and six assists. Not as much of a huge season. Corazma played 29 games and Gets played 27 games. Remember, this goalkeeper was on loan already before I got here, so he could be going back unless it's a two-year loan. I'm not 100% sure. Could be a two-year loan. Um, Arturo picked up eight goals and one assist in 17 games, so he was important in the back end. Very nice for Arturo. Very, very, very nice. You love to see it. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see Mateo Nunes stats because he went back already. But the top goal scorer at the club was Doro. I think I said that right. Uh, Williams with 19. Arturo come in January. Got eight. Very nice. Our midfielder with seven. Geds with seven. Modric with four. Top assist guy is going to go to Doro. I think I said that right. Williams, Modric. Eh, very nice. And Geds with five. Guys, what a season for Valencia. I think we did a good job. I think we did a good job. Going into the next season, if we stayed... I would target a midfielder, something that the team really, really needs. Gedge, you wouldn't have to worry about. You have one more loan with him. Doesn't matter. He can stay. Um, and then you already have Arturo, who's been very, very good, and Doro, who's been very, very good. 20 goals for him. So those two are your main strikers. Gedge is a backup. So realistically, you would just target the midfield, right? How, how to make that midfield stronger without having Mateos Nunes here. Try to sign him as a permanent deal. If that can't happen, then rock with it with like that but now it's just developing these young players because remember this center back is not old 20 this center back right here 23 young uh gay up, up there 26 here williams up there 26 here still young obviously this would be like mateos who's like 23 24 modric 24 dodo 25 arturo 27 um and then the rest of the team very young so it's kind of just developing them and continuing to bring in young players till you win la liga but I think the rebuild is successful, man. I think that was a phenomenal rebuild. I can't believe the first end of the season went, so, the, first, the beginning of the season went so well. I did not think it was going to go that well. It went incredible, which made the back end of the season, even with the slip up in February and stuff, be okay because they did so well in the beginning of the season. I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. Up next, we rebuild the worst team in England. And then what countries after that? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Peace.